Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another uh, video. So I finally got a chance to go back home and so what was waiting for me as part of my Christmas gift was all these shelving units. Uh, empty of course. But I've started going through and um, putting out my collection because I have a lot of stuff that is packed away normally, you know, these types of drawers that they're not really displayed properly and I don't get to appreciate them. So I thought I'd go through and put everything out. Kind of make it nice. I 3D printed some stands for some of the game consoles. So we'll go through and I'll quickly show you my collection. So start off with two game cubes. Uh, these are, um, I believe one's a launch model and the other one is uh, the later model without the digital output. I have two Game Boy Micros. Uh, they're both black. One of them, the face plate was silver, but it got kind of messed up, scratched up. So I made a video on me... Uh, clearing that out and the other one was broken and I fixed there's barely anything wrong I think I got uh, this guy for 25 and this guy maybe for 30 or 35 uh, I have my Wii here this is modded of course I have the Wii Key Fusion in here and I have a spare Wii Key Fusion I'll show you my parts drawer where I keep all my spare parts as well as a blue um, Wiimote here with Motion Plus I have Metroid ah. Well, there goes my Mario watch. Anyway, so I have uh, Metroid, Resident Evil, Legend of Zelda, yada yada. This is my backlit uh, Game Boy Advance that I modded in my previous video. Uh, I'm a very big fan of Castlevania. I have almost every single Castlevania game, so yeah. <laughs> so I have all the, the DS, all the Game Boy Advance Castlevania games, as well as some, some good RPGs. I have Tales of the Abyss, um... Let's see, Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, Pokemon, of course. And so we'll continue on. I also have this cute little uh, candy mint that looks like a, uh, a shroom, so there you go. I have a couple of uh, Bakla AGS 101 Game Boy Advance SPs in the back there. And so that's, what, three of them? as well as two more backlit AGS uh, Game Boys in the back there, one of which is a limited edition uh, NES-themed one. And this guy was my very first one. This was actually front lit, and I replaced the motherboard in the LCD. I have the uh, DMG that I just modified. And let's see, I have a boxed uh, Game Boy printer, interestingly enough. I have no idea how I ended up. I have two Game Boy printers, this one out here without the box and the other one with the box and manual, as well as a boxed uh, copy of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, which is in pretty rough condition, but whatever. I have two, sorry you can't see, but I have two uh, Game Boy colors here, as well as two more in the back. I have the purple, clear purple one that I front lit, and the, the clear one, the Japanese version one. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five Game Boy Pockets, as well as one or two more that are broken that I'm uh, currently fixing. I have the extreme green one, which is my favorite. <laughs> I just recently got this, and I've always wanted one of these, and it's sick. I have the ice blue limited edition one, which is awesome also. Uh, pretty scratched up, though, but eh. I have the clear purple one, which I had no idea existed, but apparently it does. I have the Game Boy Light, and this is the prize of my collection. It's practically mint condition. There's barely any scratches on it, and the backlight is nice and bright. So this is absolutely stunning. I love this unit. It looks kind of green, but on this camera, for some reason, it looks very blue. Yep, you can see everything works. There you go. Just get a close-up of that. There we go. Look at that beautiful screen. Anyway, so let me just shut this off. Put that back. Yeah, and interestingly enough, this Game Boy printer, I have a... I, I actually use receipt paper. <laughs> uh, my friend and I found out that we got the perfect size where it's double the width, and we literally took a hacksaw to it, cut it in half, and he took one half, I took the other, and this will last us pretty much a lifetime. And as you can see, it works. Uh, interesting note, if you turn on the power while pressing the feed button, it'll print out a uh, hello message with Mario's head and a Game Boy image and whatnot just as a test. So that's my Game Boy collection there. Going on down, I have a light gun, two NESs, 
and two NES controllers, and I got some pretty good NES games, I gotta say. I got Metal Gear, Punch-Out, Blue Marlin, Final Fantasy, Castlevania 1 and 3. I do not have two yet. I will soon rectify that since they're pretty cheap. Legend of Zelda, uh, the original. Uh, the Grey Cart version, actually, which is supposedly rare. I have no idea why, but Super Mario Bros. Uh, Duck Hunt, Super Mario Bros. 2, 3, Metroid, Tetris, and Kirby's Adventure. I believe that's all my games. Maybe I have some more kicking around somewhere else, but... Uh, then we go on to my N64s. I have uh, the the Jungle Green, I believe it was called, limited edition, uh, part of the Fantastic series. I have the original, and I have a, uh, I, I forget what the color is called, but it's like the clear blue, ice blue uh, controller here. The joystick's a little funky, but it still works. And I have pretty much all the major games. I'm not going to pull them out. They're a pain. I have... Um, Three golden carts for the Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask, and the Holographic Majora's Mask. And pretty much every other game that, you know, you'd want on the system. I have Super Smash Brothers, uh, Mario Kart, uh, Mario 64, GoldenEye, all those good games I have. Next, we're going on to my... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I also have a fatty uh, PS1 in here because I couldn't fit it anywhere else, <laughs> as well as a PS2 controller. I have a, I do not have a original uh, SNES, unfortunately, but I have the Retro Duo here. I have uh, two or three of those, so this is the one that works that isn't in horrible condition that I actually use. I have a Super, Super Famicom controller, as well as the original North American ones. I have a uh, Game Genie for the SNES, which is a cheat device. A Super Game Boy. Uh, let's see, I have... Uh, you probably can't even see it. I have a Retro Boy Advance, which lets you play uh, Game Boy Advance games on the SNES, which is rather interesting. I have uh, Castlevania 4, Breath of Fire 1 and 2, Secret of Mana, uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, Super Metroid, Final Fantasy 2, 3, uh, Illusion of Gaia, Tetris Attack, and I think I missed one, Super Mario World. So, thankfully... I picked these up. I picked up most of my games a few years ago before they started really getting expensive, so I didn't spend nearly as much as you would pay nowadays, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. So I guess we'll go from the bottom here now. I have a launch model 60GB uh, PS3. Uh, this is not working as a yellow light of death, but it is a very nice physical you know, construction console, nicer than the later models, which is why I keep it even if it doesn't work. And interestingly enough, I picked this up at a thrift store. It is a Dreamcast VMU, uh, the clear blue one, uh, unopened. <laughs> I don't even have a Dreamcast, but I saw this for, I think, like $2, and I said, eh, why not? So that goes there. Then I have my working 80 gigabyte. Uh, this is a later model PS3. Not as nice as the uh, the one down below, but this one works. <laughs> this is what I actually use to play games on. And then I have my crusty controller. Uh, I have Tales of Graces, uh, White Knight Chronicles, and Star Ocean. And I, I've been meaning to pick up some more games, the Uncharted games and whatnot, but just haven't happened yet. So, next is my PSP, which is the PSP collection, which is by far the most numerous, <laughs> as you can see packed in here. I have the, the uh, Mystic Silver console, which I just got broken. And um, I've actually ended up swapping the board from this heavily modded console, which I, I changed the case to a clear one. So right now this doesn't work, uh, but the silver case is actually nicer. I prefer it. It feels less plasticky. So I swapped out the working board into this guy, so now this works. This is my original PSP, which my sister and my parents got me as a high school graduation gift. And I've had it since then. It works perfectly. Nothing wrong with it. It's awesome. So yeah, so we got that. I got a couple of limited edition copies for the Vita, for instance. I got uh, East uh, Memories of Salcida. I have the Persona 2 uh, limited edition box copy. I got these nice little, they're, they're, they came with mints, but they're like little PSP sort of tins and they're cute, so I keep them. I have all the East games on the PSP, uh, Valkyria Profile, um, Valkyria Chronicles, Legend of, uh, sorry, Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky. Uh, what else do I got? 
as it all falls apart. Um, uh, Legend of Heroes 1, uh, Tales of the World, Star Ocean 1st uh, and 2nd, which are awesome games, Sonic Rivals, Simpsons, uh, Manic Maya, which is a PS2 port, uh, well, a port of a PS2 game, uh, Harry Potter, which is meh, I played a little bit, but uh, East Ark of Nepishtim, however you pronounce that. Good game also. Castlevania Dracula X, which is awesome. I really want to get the SNES Dracula X Chronicles, but that is going for way too much now, so probably never will. Blade Dancer, not not a great game. <laughs> Crisis Core, awesome game. Astonishing Story, which is a... Uh, it's an RPG. It's okay, not great. Jewel Summoner, which is apparently really rare. And I I've, I saw this, like, once a very long time ago, probably, like, 10, 12 years ago, and they were selling it for, like, below 10 bucks, and I thought, why not? So I picked it up, and apparently now it's, like, you usually sells complete boxed for, like, 60 or above. So, interesting having that. It's like a Pokemon clone, interestingly enough. Then I got uh, Lunar, which is an awesome game. Star Wars uh, Lego Trilogy, awesome. Siphon Filter, I'm a very big fan of. Crimson Gem Saga, uh, pretty hard game, actually, but very good. Coded Arms was my first game. Final Fantasy, of course, and all the Persona games, because Persona is awesome. And very interestingly enough, I had uh, entered a sort of a drawing that uh, SCEA, the Sony of America, held for the demo. It's actually a beta demo of God of War Chains of Olympus, and it comes with a like a limited edition keychain, and it's it's actually pretty nice here. You can see it. it I've already opened it, unfortunately, but I got, I got some joy out of that. And I have an unopened uh, demo disc for Monster Hunter uh, Freedom Unite, which I never opened and probably never will. So I, I'm not too into buying things to never open, but sometimes it just so happens. Like, for instance, East 1 and 2 Chronicles, I got this after, I learned how to hack my PSP, so I don't need to play on a physical disc anyway, so I just keep that in the packaging. And two other games I have unopened, Persona 3, Fez, and uh, Persona 4. Uh, just because, yeah, I got these after I put the mod chip into this uh, PS2, so there's no reason for me to open it. I have Silent Hill 2 and 3. I really want to get Silent Hill 1 on the PS1, but yeah, I'll wait for a good price on that. Castlevania... Uh, what is this? Uh, Lament of Innocence and what was the other? Curse of Darkness. Uh, good games, actually. I, I I like them for 3D Castlevania games. They're they're not bad at all. I have Wild Arms, Final Fantasy. Uh, this is my first PS2, which I bought brand new. It's a Silver 9000 series with the power supply built in. This guy has the external power supply. I believe it's a 7500 series or something like that. And I case modded it to be clear, and this one has a mod chip in it, the Modbo 4.0. I have a couple of Vita games. Um, my Most of my handheld consoles, like the Sony ones, are up at college, so I can do another video showing you guys those. But Persona 4 Golden, East, as I said, the uh, limited edition box copies down here, but I keep the case up here. Final Fantasy X, X2, awesome. Tales of Hearts R and Virtue's Last Reward. I do want to get uh, 999 for the DS. Uh, I'm looking for a box copy of that for pretty cheap. Hopefully I can find it because that is an awesome game. I have two uh, slim PS1s. Uh, both of them work. Uh, silver controller for the PS2 as well as the, the portable 4-inch four, four screen, which is awesome. I have two of them. Uh, one of them has a broken base. Uh, this one has a working base and hinge. Um, they're both in meh quality, but they're pretty expensive now, so at least I have them. Then I have uh, two of my favorite games on the PS1, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That is my favorite game pretty much of all time. I have a original black label copy with the manual and everything. And this one, I, I love that I have it now because they're going for kind of a lot now. And an even rarer game apparently is Castlevania Chronicles, which is complete uh, in very good condition that I have. So, glad I picked that up. So, I'm only missing, like, I think maybe two or three Castlevania games, all in all. So, I have every other single Castlevania game. I'm, I'm a huge fan of them. And so, yeah, I have some Logitech wireless controllers, which are awesome. I, I love these guys for playing. Um, and then I 3D printed a uh, 
a Metal, Metal Gear uh, Foxhound sort of emblem, and I, uh, you know, traced over in Magic Marker, and it looks pretty cool, I think. So I just have that as decoration here. And you might have noticed uh, the Perler Bead Samus there. So yeah, uh, I have a couple of GameCube controllers kicking around as well. Um, so that's pretty much all my gaming collection, uh, except for I, I do not have nearly all my Game Boy Advance games. I have like a couple here. I have like Solitaire, Rugrats the movie, and a really beat up uh, copy of uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, previously owned by, uh, you know, that guy. So, <laughs> And interestingly enough, a Dream Gear radio. This is a uh, digital radio tuner that plugs into the front of your Game Boy boy because why anyway I had I got that a very 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 long time ago so yeah that's uh, most of my systems I have a Jack specific um, sort of uh, all-in-one uh, Atari system here it's a plug-and-play system you just put in four double-a or yeah double-a batteries and it just works uh, as well as the screen that I used to test most of my things is the seven inch uh, HD display but it only has composite input but it works with everything so why not? So anyway, uh, and here's my iPod slash Palm computer shrine and a, the portable TV I did a teardown on. Yeah, so I, I have a lot of iPods. So it was, it was at this point that the video file that I recorded actually corrupted and I had to use some software to, to fix everything up. So these are just some concluding pictures of, of everything high resolution. So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Um, didn't mean to brag too much about my collection, but I am very proud of it. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, pretty much everything that I've been collecting in the past like 10 or so years. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.